Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we're going to talk about LED lighting for your vintage Volkswagen. VintageCarLEDs.com sells vintage lighting for vintage cars, uh, and especially for Volkswagens. And what we have here, just right out of the box, this bulb is already assembled for you. And you can, as you can see, the wires are already hooked up and you got a male plug-in to plug into your existing harness on your Beetle. And uh, right now these are 12 volt bulbs, they are working on 6 volt bulbs. And uh, we are going to try this bulb out into our 1970 Beetle. So we took out our old uh, Beetle headlight assembly. As you can see here, it's kind of cruddy and rusty, so we're going to clean this up. But we're taking out the old style type bulb. And basically, you're just going to grab the new bulb and start putting it into the assembly. So the way you took out the old bulb is just do it in reverse order and fasten it, the new bulb back into the, uh, the headlight assembly. And it, it fits just like a regular bulb would. Line up the notches, and she should fit snug and, and in place, just like that. I'm going to do a dry run here temporarily, just to show you how it lines up. And as you can see here, you got the male end plug that will just plug into the female end that comes through your fender. Just make sure your wires do not crimp when you're fastening the bulb down. Make sure then, when you take the headlight assembly out, inspect your springs. You're going to want to uh, uh, inspect your screws, your adjusting screws, your adjusting screw fasteners. A lot of times these are frozen or they're broken or they're stripped. And you want these to function properly because you have to adjust the headlights accordingly. Uh, when, when you're driving down the road, you don't want these headlights uh, pointing in, in the wrong direction. So we had to go through getting these screws out and putting some penetrating oil on them to get them freed up. Um, so, uh, but when I took the assemblies apart, I could not stand the rust, so I sanded them down and uh, painted some new paint on those headlight assemblies, uh, the housing areas that hold the bulb. And then, uh, once we had that all painted up, we start to put the bulb onto the housing. Now, this is a 67 and later housing for Beetles, and you can use these bulbs also on any other vintage car. Uh, they work really well with the bug. Now in the kit they give you instructions and they also give you a little piece of foam self-adhesive foam to put onto the bulb area. This is so when you put on the outer trim ring like we're doing here it doesn't bounce around. Uh, these bulbs might be slightly different in size compared to an original style type bulb so um, that trim ring uh, we did notice bounced around a little bit so they give you a little piece of foam to help that from uh, from cluttering around and, and knocking around around the bulb. So just line it up. Now a lot of times, again, these machine screws, these uh, sheet metal screws that we took out, they were frozen, so we had to drill them out. We put some new screws in. You don't want to go all new here, guys, and just make sure everything functions properly. Loop everything up so you have peace of mind and, and, and basically just uh, make the job easier for you. We lube up our adjusting screws because you need these to move freely so you can adjust these later on. I said new, new sheet metal screws to fasten down the trim ring onto the housing. Should be three screws there that hold that down. Just take your time here. We're not in any rush. And make sure everything's presentable. And there's your headlight assembly basically all together. You can trim off the excessive uh, foam if you'd like. And also down here we lube that up so the outer trim ring goes on easier. Just plug in our bulb and then mount it to the fender. Again we had to use new sheet metal screws. You might have to drill out and put some new holes there just because a lot of stuff rusts up over the years. And then we do some slight adjustments to the, uh, the pointing of the headlights and where they project the bulb. Make sure you check with your local and state governments or your wherever territories you are in the world to find out what is required for your state to project the lights correctly. Every state or country is different. So they look pretty good. They actually look stock. Very vibrant. Nice and bright. Very clear. These bulbs will last many, many, many years. And they actually have a fan that, that goes on. Uh, when you turn those bulbs on, the fan you will hear to cool the bulb down. Now I'm outside and I'm going through the evening here and I just wanted to show you what these lights look like as the sun starts to go down. 
as you can see they are very vibrant so if you are in front of a car like this that has LEDs they they do come off very bright but uh, for a Volkswagen they're known for poor lighting and you know what having these these lights on your car makes you feel safer when driving at night as you can see I'm driving down the highway the, uh, the sun is going down these lights project very nicely as you can see here very clear I felt very safe driving and uh, very good stuff so an A plus in my book if you have any questions whatsoever you can email me Chris at classic VWBugs.com or also visit VintageCarLEDs.com to pick up a set of bulbs. Take care. Um.